Hey honey, Wednesday Midgard. My name is Michelle from Throw It's Another Letter. Hello and welcome back to my channel. Another. Today I'm going to be doing a mini reading vlog. I got a couple of books in the library. I also have a children's book and some graphic novels that I would like to finish. And so I'm gonna try to do these. I'm trying to I'm gonna try to read most if not all before my husband gets home and this is the beginning of my birthday extravaganza weekend so consider this a reading vlog and a birthday vlog so uh hi i turned 31 on wednesday it was really nice i did get a free scoop from culver's and i did have some friends that spoiled me so i did get some really yummy I, I spend most of my money on food so I got some really yummy stuff and then also I got some like little grocery items and things like that I got I got two of these these are from the library I have the magic fish and then I have girl from the sea Molly Knox Ostertag and Trung Lee Nguyen and then I also have ancient night by David Alvarez uh, tears of trials of Dedende spirit of Dedende by uh, Richard Van Camp, and then I also have uh, Dreams, Visions of the Crow by Wanda John Kaywin and Nicole Marie Burton. First book is down, and it's been like, I think like five or six minutes, but I thought this was really cute, and this is about two different stories of uh, Nahua, and they are a group of indigenous people from Mexico, El Salvador, Guatemala, Honduras, and Nicaragua, and oh my goodness, I really enjoyed this, mostly for the illustrations, because they're just so, they're just so gorgeous. This is what I, this is what I really love about, about picture books, is the ability to tell a story through art, to have like the world tree leaves, and also I got this book from Levine Queerdo, so thank you to them for sending this to me. On to the next book. I think I'll do this one. Plus, I gotta have my handy dandy notebook so I can write notes in. Alright, so it has been about, about a half hour or so, and I just finished this one, Dreams, Visions of the Crow. And I really like it. It is a little hard to follow in terms of um, pacing, but as like art wise in terms of the story it's it's really good so it does have a good plot it has a good storyline definitely go pick this up if you haven't um the trigger warnings this does deal with alcoholism residential schools um the effects of colonization racism bullying so um just be careful when you're getting into this i do really like the art there's a couple of like when he's going into the vision it kind of all it blends into the next frame and he kind of just blends in there so the next one i'm gonna try to go for is the spirit of dedende volume two as i unfold in petals um i did not get a chance to read the very first one so i'm sure there's going to be probably a disconnect but i am really interested to see what happens and this is from this one and this one as well is both from high water press oh like a one-room lock house my mom lived in a one-room log house when she was a kid. So this is pronounced Denende. All right, so we are another book down, and um, this graphic novel, or this comic, was interesting. Definitely missing out on the context on the first, on the of the first one. If this continues on, or if this is a separate occasion, but I actually really, I didn't really understand the plot mostly because it's probably from the first i was more interested in a certain part of the story that didn't really emphasize as much um but the art is really good i love the art i think this is my favorite page overall because the main character has um two big brothers that are protecting him he is like kind of like a medicine man he saves people and things like that and he came back after going to rehab are the two big brothers outside of his house and I really love this because of just it just looks so good this is right here this is the little people that are coming to help so I mean there's a lot oh yeah here we go here's a page of the, the log cabin and then you have the inside with the TV with the medicine so definitely 
some really great artistry from High Water Press and I'm very interested to see what comes out next. Uh, these came out in April, so. The next one I'm hoping to read, I think, is Girl from the Sea. Now we have another one done. Girl by the Sea, The Girl by the Sea by Nolly, Molly Knox Ostertog. And it was so good. I always love this graphic novelist and their art is just, it's always so good. That took me about a half an hour so I'm gonna work on the card that I have and I'm going to save this one for last. It actually tells you the first 68 pages of this uh, pages of this book were drawn traditionally on cardstock printer paper with a combination of Micron fine liners and Stadler pigment liners. The remaining pages were drawn using a Cintiq tablet in Adobe Photoshop and subsequent colors were also applied in Photoshop. So it's 5.06 and I finished this. Oh my god, it's so good. Now I can take I can take these back to the library too. This was three hours of reading and I finished five things. And it was so good. Like I think out of this whole entire stack, my favorite is this one. This is a five star. This is also gonna be a five star. Cause I liked I liked the story. Um, these two are probably gonna be rounded up to four stars, but that's like three and a half, um, 3.5. And then this one is gonna receive a, this one's gonna receive a four star. I feel really proud of myself for finishing this many books all in one, just all in one heap. Can Chris Evans drive? What is going on with me and driving? <laughs> yes, I can drive very well. I'm trying to get a bunch of bitches to kneel. Jonathan? As if I don't like it. I don't like it. Cut the check. Cut the check. Ah. Get that picture off the monitor. <laughs> Where's my husband? Baby spider. Do, 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 do. Squirrels are scary, man. 